You already know that the same value can be represented as either an improper fraction or a mixed number, that there are equivalent values. So 13 fifths is equivalent to 2 and 3 fifths. But now we'll look at converting from an improper fraction to a mixed number and how you go about doing that. An improper fraction like 8 thirds consists of some whole parts and some fractional parts. So we use the denominator of the fraction part, in this case 3, to know how many parts each whole part is divided into. In this case, it's thirds. So we need 8 thirds altogether. So we can take one whole part and divide it into 3. So that will give us 3 thirds. And we're going to need another whole part. That's six-thirds altogether. And then we have an additional two-thirds to make up eight-thirds altogether. So in order to convert this to a mixed number, you can see that there are two whole parts and two-thirds of a fractional part. So our mixed number will be two and two-thirds. So that is equivalent to the improper fraction eight-thirds. If our improper fraction is 17 fifths, again you need to think about the whole parts as being fifths divided into 5. So we need 17 of them all together, 17 fifths. So here's a whole part and it's divided into 5, so that's 5 fifths. And another whole part would give us 10 fifths. And another whole part would give us 15 fifths. And we need 17 all together, so we need two more. So there's 17 fifths. Now let's take a look at how we would represent that as a mixed number. Well, plainly, there are three whole parts and two fifths is the fractional part. So 17 fifths is equivalent to three and two fifths. Now as you do more of these, again, you'll be starting to apply more mental math and more shortcuts when you're doing them. So if you have a number like 19 sevenths, what you could do is you could set up a division question, 19 divided by 7. So 7 becomes the dividend and 19 becomes the divisor. Now we have 7 divided into 19. And you again will use your mental math to determine there are two 7s in 19. 2 times 7 is 14 and we take the difference between 19 and 14 and that's 5. So 19 subtract 14 is 5. So the answer is 2 with a remainder of 5. So the 2 becomes the whole number part of the mixed number and the 5 becomes the numerator of the fraction which is sevenths. So it's going to be 5 sevenths. So 19 sevenths is equivalent to 2 and 5 sevenths. We'll take another example, such as 7 halves. Again, let's set up our division question. 7 divided by 2, or 2 into 7. And when you think about it, your mental math would probably give you an answer of 3 here. 3 times 2 is 6, and the difference will be 1. So the answer is 3 with a remainder of 1. Again, 3 is the whole number of the mixed number. 1 becomes the numerator of the fraction with a denominator of 2, the same as the in the original improper fraction. So 7 halves is equivalent to 3 and 1 half. Again, your mental math will come in handy here. If you have an improper fraction like 11 sixths, what you're trying to determine is how many sixes are in 11. How many sixes would be in 11? Hopefully your mental math will tell you that there is one six in 11. And then if you take out that six, there would be five sixths left. So your fraction will be one and five sixths. So these are equivalent fractions. When you think to yourself how many parts will be in that fraction, you can use your mental math or you can draw it out like shown previously. So that will be how you will determine what the mixed number is that's the equivalent to the improper fraction.